Jens, I'm really excited about this one. I think this one is product of the year, man. Yeah, you could be right, uh, because everybody has this problem, obviously, with DSLRs yep. and the HDMI. Um, they fall out, they break. You know, if they fall out, your shot stops. Um, it's just HDMI is not a great plug. And so if you're able to do something like this, <laughs> then you shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, Can so your think, HDMI do this? Yeah, so I think what we need to tell people is basically we need some kind of a locking system to lock that in because um, Jason Wingrove told me that he's replaced two of these right. and it's like $1,250 to replace the jack. When it, when it wobbles at a certain point, you're going to kind of bend and, and, and all those jacks are going to be no good anymore. So Just the stress of use is going to wear that out. Right. So we came up with this idea, and I don't know, I think you named it. No, you named it. I pincher. named it. The pincher, man. Yeah. Okay, so this one's the pincher. Now, you have to have a gorilla plate. No, uh, that's not exactly true. It also works on our DSLR base plate because it has the same yeah. slot there. Yeah. Like many people have these already because they come with, if you buy a Z Finder, you get one. If you right. buy any Zacuto DSLR camera kit because this right. is really for DSLRs. Right. So the bar is what attaches it to your existing, if you have one, uh, Gorilla Plate or DSLR base plate. And it sort of replaces where your slide would be for the frame that would be for your uh, Z Finder on the back of the camera. So when you buy the thing, I'm going to start from scratch here, you get the bar. Yeah. So everything you buy from us out of the box, you can use it. So you're good to go. That's all you need. Now, if you decide to buy this new um, mount that we have, what's the name of this thing? What was it? The EVF... Gorilla plate mount. No, gorilla plate bracket. Thanks. Okay. That's great. So right from the back of camera. So it's a so it's original <laughs> name. I mean, so EVF gorilla plate mount bracket. Ah, uh, whatever. So out of the box, you use it with this bar here. And if in a base plate. Yep. And then if you decide to get the sling bracket, you throw the little bar away or put it in your camera bag, and you can mount the pincher right onto here. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm going to try this baby on. It's beautiful. Look at that. My eye is, you can hang on to the sling bracket here. My eye is right in the hole. I got my lens right here for focusing and my cable. I can hold my camera from my cable as you can see here. It's rock solid. Now this design that you and Bob came up with is really cool because you have this, uh, what do you call this thing? Well, he calls it a dog. What's cool about the dog is that it can be used sort of in a downward way and it can be used in an upward way. Yeah, and there are so many other adjustable points. You've got the support bar that can slide in and out. The tightening screw on the bottom of the pincher allows you to move side to side on the support bar. The same tightening screw also provides maneuverability forwards and backwards. And the dog has the ability to go all the way up and down the pincher and rotate 360 degrees. Bob has gone through every DSLR that we could possibly think of mm -hmm. and figured out how the dog would mount in such a way that you could still use all the other camera ports. Right. You know, or not maybe not all of them, but at least the audio jack. So it doesn't interfere. The, yeah. And that's kind of a complicated thing. That's why this thing is a little on the tall side and looks a little bit like a cigarette lighter because we wanted it to be universal to all these different cameras because many people have a 5D, a 7D, a T2i, a, a D7000. Or the cameras with the, uh, the battery grips on the bottom, which also raises the camera, which is why this is at the height it is. Right, and it's not really intrusive because when it's you look at it... Tucked along the side. There. Yeah, it's just tucked along the side of the camera, so it works really nice. Mm -hmm. The dog is was basically designed for our cable. And some people say, why didn't we make this part articulating? Well, this is the reason why. If it articulates, that's even worse because now that the thing has the ability to move, it's really rattling that jet. But it's also much bigger down here than and the dog would have to be farther out. This right. is actually the, the smallest configuration and it gives it a good place to grab. Right, now this works, we've tested this with our cable. Uh, There's some, a few others that it works with, but it, we right. recommend our cable. Our, our cable is the right length anyway, and then you have the other articulating end. Yeah. Now you can do it with other cables. It might not fit exactly in the dog, but the point is, is that you just need to get it to push against whatever it is you're pushing against. So just jam it in there really tight and turn down on it, 
and it's going to prevent that cable from moving. Mm -hmm. But again, our cable works best, and it's an ex inexpensive cable. Right. And it gives you the articulation on this end. It's available now? Yep. Right. For 130 I believe? Yeah, and it's really reasonable, I think. 130 bucks, you got everything you need to go. It's cheap insurance compared to what it would cost to repair that thing. Yep. All right. Okay, cool.